Maybe it was England's youngest ever starting 11 in a major tournament being overwhelmed, but the first ever goalless draw at Wembley Stadium between England and Scotland wasn't exactly what people were expecting heading into it. However, a point in the bag for both sides means that Group D is still wide open with the chance for everybody to qualify. England now with a 99.9% .9 chance of qualification according to our predictor model, but hopes of topping the group now sit at 556 Compared to a second place finish and unlocking that comparatively easier pathway through the knockout stages in avoiding Group F's opponents initially a 42 0.2% chance. One area of concern though is Harry Kane following yet another ineffective performance. A match low 10 touches in the first half, he finished with 19, the fewest he's ever had for England in a game in which he has played more than 45 minutes. Oh, and he's also yet to have a shot on target in the tournament too. Anyway, on to today's games and the wrapping up of the second round of group stage fixtures, meaning in tomorrow's program we'll take another look at our predictor model a little bit more in depth. But for today, he might now be the all-time leading goalscorer in European Championship history, but Cristiano Ronaldo will be hoping to break his duck against Germany, having failed to score despite attempting 23 shots in 360 minutes of action in four games against Germany. Our win probability model is giving Germany just the better chance of victory in this one though, with a 38.9% chance of winning. Perhaps because they haven't suffered consecutive defeats in the group stages at a major tournament since Euro 2000 when they lost to England and um, Portugal. We're giving them a 31% chance of victory in this one, having lost just two of their last 30 matches in all competitions, with the draw at 30.1%, so expect a tight clash in Munich today. Now, if the expected goals tally from match week one is anything to go by, then don't expect too many goals in Group F's other clash today. You see, Hungary registered the lowest of the tournament at 0.18, and France weren't too much better off at 0.28, having attempted just four shots in that victory over Germany. They have won their last five matches in all competitions without conceding a goal, though and our win probability model is expecting them to succeed today with a 64.4% chance of victory. And whilst they might have won each of their last five matches against Hungary, a run that's dating back to 1978, they have only ever been victorious once on Hungarian soil. So don't write off the 13.5% chance our model is giving of a Hungarian victory whilst the draw sits at 22.1%. Meanwhile, Spain need to shake off their disappointment following their opening game draw and make sure they don't open up a European Championship tournament with no wins from their opening two games for the first time since 1996. And having been victorious in eight of the ten matches they've played against Poland, it isn't surprising that our win probability model is overwhelmingly supporting their chance in this one at 77.7%, which suggests that Poland are facing the probability of losing their opening two matches at a major tournament for the fourth time. We are giving them a little bit of hope, but not too much, at 7.7%, with the draw coming in at 14.6%. Anyway, thanks for tuning in once again today. We'll be back tomorrow with a much closer look at our predictor model as we roll into that final round of group stage fixtures. Don't forget to keep your eyes on our Twitter account, at OptaAnalyst throughout today, where you'll be able to take part in the polls ahead of tomorrow's games. And of course, if you want to keep up with all the latest from our predictor, from the player and team stats, as well as live standings, then make sure you head to the Euros Hub on theanalyst.com, home of data-driven storytelling.